Teachers Los Angeles, and I'm here with Cecily Meyer Cruz, also Vice President of United Teachers Los Angeles. While we believe that we would eventually win in court against all of Austin Butner's anti-union, high price attempts to stop our legal right to strike in order for clarity and to allow members in our communities to plan, UTLA is moving the strike date to Monday, January 14th. We do not want to bring confusion and chaos into an already fluid situation. Although we believe we would ultimately prevail in court for our members, for our students, our parents, and the community, absent an agreement, we will plan to strike on Monday. As the UTLA bargaining team is back at the table to try to reach an agreement today, our lawyers are fighting Butner's desperate legal maneuvers in court. We need to be the ones to offer clarity since the district has sent out confusing and contradicting messages to members and parents in the last few months. We know there are tough decisions ahead for the more than 600,000 students and their families impacted by a strike. While every family will make their own decision on whether to send their child to school in the event of a strike, having many parents and allies on the picket lines will be powerful and transformative. I'm going to be reading that in Spanish. Aunque creemos que ganaremos en las tribunales contra todos los intentos de Austin Butner contra el sindicato y nuestros derechos como trabajadores para detener nuestro derecho legal a la huelga, queremos dar claridad y permitir que los miembros y nuestras familias y comunidad tengan tiempo para planificar. UTLA está moviendo la fecha de la huelga para el lunes 14 de enero. No queremos traer confusión y caos a una situación inestable. Aunque creemos que ganaremos en la corte para nuestros miembros, para nuestros estudiantes, los padres y la comunidad, no, si no llegamos a un acuerdo, planeamos irnos a huelga este lunes. Como nuestro equipo de negociación está de vuelta en la mesa intentando de llegar a un acuerdo hoy, nuestros abogados están luchando contra las maniobras legales y desesperadas de Butner en la corte. Necesitamos ser los que ofrezcan claridad, ya que el distrito ha enviado mensajes confusos y contradictorios a nuestros miembros y a los padres en estos últimos meses. Sabemos que hay decisiones difíciles por adelante para las más de 600 mil estudiantes y familias afectadas por una huelga. Cada familia debe tomar su propia decisión sobre si enviar a su hijo a la escuela en caso de una huelga. Sabemos que tener, que tener muchos padres y aliados en las líneas de piquete será poderoso y transformador para nuestros estudiantes. Okay. All right. <coughs> Cecily Meyer Cruz, UTLA NEA Vice President. So once again, LAUSD is spreading lies and misinformation to the public and to our members. So here are the facts behind the latest proposal. LAUSD says 1,000 more educators. The truth is that's a drop in the bucket when it comes to our students' needs, and it represents less than 5% of this record-breaking district reserve. The proposal would provide less than one additional staff person, supposedly for a class size reduction in health and human services. It is a one-year proposal, allowing Austin Butner, who has downsized many entities in the past, to hire and then downsize uh, one year later to this portfolio plan to privatize. In addition, <laughs> it's not enough. LAUSD says additional funding to reduce class size. The truth, the funding is one and the same as I just said above. To cover both class size and health and human services, that is unacceptable. The district proposal actually would permanently raise class size to as many as 46 in secondary and 39 in elementary school. The proposal also wants to put section 1.5, which allows them to unilaterally raise class size, in this case, above 46 and 39 students. It puts that on steroids. 
LAUSD says it's getting rid of this onerous clause, but it's actually including more conditions under which the district, district can unilaterally raise class sizes further. Remember, keeping class size high allows privatizers like Butner to have an easier plan to lay off educators, give more space through Prop 39 ch uh, charter co-location, and drive more students to those charters through unreasonable conditions in district schools. LAUSD says 6 percent with no contingencies. In their own email, they admit that a raise comes with cuts to health care for future employees. That's what you call co contingency plans, folks. Make no mistake, this is the beginning of rolling back all of our coverage. Health care for our families is target number one on their hit list. And this 6% raise is really 3% for 17-18 and 3% for 18-19. Our proposal is 6.5 clean, retro to 2016. We shouldn't have to have a contingency plan to, for hard work that our members work and what we have already done and what we're doing now. The district also neglects to say what is not in their offer. Any meaningful accountability for charter co-locations. Remember, charter growth is a major Butner priority. And no support for early ed, adult ed, or bilingual education. Butner is still offering to spend only a fraction of the 1.9 billion reserve. So we have been overwhelmed by the support of churches, restaurants offering food, parents opening their homes. We have parents here supporting us today. Our national affiliates and allies, Eros Alliance to Reclaim Our Schools has created a strike fund. You can find that information on www.aros-wearla.com. We deserve more. Our students deserve more. We have not come this far to settle for so little. The time is now to act. We ask that you follow us at wearepublicschools.org uh, strike, uh, strike Watch. And so this is going to be the end of this press conference, and we're going in. Parents are going to speak as well. So we have parents coming up. Who's coming? Um, good morning. Yeah, good morning. My name is Tiffany Gardner, and I have two students at 74th Street Elementary School. And I stand behind the teacher strike because it is not self-serving. It is more so for the te for the students. And as a parent, they're asking for things that I want as a parent. Um, I have a child who is in special ed, whose services are very limited, and we need better uh, support and we need better funding for classroom sizes for special ed, as well as um, class sizes for the regular um, elementary level students. We need more nurses at our schools. We have a nurse one day a week at my school. We don't have enough counselors, so if you need services, they're just not available in a timely fashion. So everything that the teachers are asking for is something that I, as a parent, have been fighting for myself, and that's why I stand behind the strike. Can I have your name, please? My name is Tiffany Gardner. T-I-F-F-A-N-I-Y Gardner, G-A-R-D-N-E-R. Thank, thank you. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.